Hey everyone, this is Elsie's exercise. Today is Tuesday, August 16th, 2016. I don't know where to start, but um, I'm going to just, um, I noticed some of my videos that were, couldn't make it on, on Facebook. Uh, I don't know if I, I'm going to repeat myself, but I wanted to say this again because I think uh, it may have not got on. It's about the present moment and um, so I want to read a little bit about that. Um, said, said, Christianity allows us to see God as he really is in this life. Uh, joy must begin here. Um, let me read that again. Christianity allows us to see God as he really is in this life. And joy must begin here. See God in the present moment. Even if the present moment may devastate us, sometimes we can still have the assurance somewhere God is in it. Uh, joy is a sign of God's presence in us. See the will of God in everything. And that is the way to joy in this life. Make an effort to do this and be like Jesus. All right. I'm just reading my notes from Mother Angelica. Closer you get to the Lord and more, the more serenity. Um, and the more of Jesus in us, in our daily life, the more we that see God in our present life, the more serene we get. We don't have these big jumps up and down. A, you know, cause she was saying life is like a seesaw, you know, and you won't have big, like happiness and depression and all this. If you just see that, uh, um, God is in our present life. The more that we see God in our present life, the more serene we get. We don't have these big jumps up and down. So, the child of God is called to be holy. All right. Um, joy makes us serene, and you cannot find joy unless you find God in the present moment. God is our source of joy. All the things they could that could depress us do not because we do not lose the sight of God. We, she also mentioned how our loved ones are in heaven praying for us now and have a perfect love for us now. Um, let's see. If I can see God willing, permitting, whether ordained it or permitted it at this present moment, I can accept it a lot better. God is within me. God is around me. Okay. I'm just reading her very same words. If I am aware of that divine presence in my soul, in your soul, aware of it, at least try to make myself aware. If I don't do it all the time, at least occasionally build up. If I can do that, the present moment comes and gives me something very difficult to bear. I can say, it's the will of God. You say, well, I don't believe that. Look at the life of Jesus when the pilot said, don't you know, I have the power to crucify you and the power to release you. And Jesus said, no, you have no power over me, except the except if the one on the high gives it to you. Even in that awesome, unjust moment, let me see, even in that awesome, unjust moment, Jesus saw the Father's will. All right, so well, that's enough about the present moment. I think you got the point. And maybe I lost my, uh, uh oh, did I lose my computer here? Well, there won't be any, uh, reading today, but you can go to that website if you want to. Um, apparently my computer decided to die. That's okay. We'll read readings for tomorrow. Um, he was going to talk a little bit about, uh, a saint in Hungary, and it's all good. Um, just do a little exercise this morning and um, see how it goes, okay? Stretch. I had to iron everything out. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll go ahead and stretch front or side.
run again. Well, since my computer crashed, I, will, I really wanted to read a little bit more, do something a little bit more talking, so I decided just now I want to, I was looking for my little Bible, but I don't see that either. I guess it's behind there, but um, yeah, let's read something out of this, the imitation of Christ. So what I want you to do is just bend forward and stretch and hold it. And just listen to me while you're just doing this, okay? With your legs apart. Have your legs apart. Okay, and bend forward, stretching. Look at a small one. All right. We ought to deny ourselves and imitate Christ through bearing the cross. My child, the more you depart from yourself, keep stretching. The more you depart from yourself, the more you will be able to enter into me. As the giving up of exterior things bring interior peace, so the forsaking of self unites you to God. I will have you learn perfect surrender to my will without contradiction or complaint. Oh, we can do so much less complaining. Always oh, speak positive of people, never ill of people. Is the way of Christ and the way of, you know, just being a good human being. It's just, let's quit talking bad about each other. I mean, that's why I feel like even the presidents, I mean, running people trying to be president, if they would just stop talking bad about each other, I think uh, they might just, it might help their, their running, their um, campaign. So follow me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. I am the way which you must follow, the truth which you must believe, and the life that for which you must hope. I am the inviolable way, the infallible truth, the unending life. I am the way that is straight, the supreme truth, the life that is true, the blessed, the uncreated life. If you abide in my way, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And and you shall attain life everlasting. I think Martin Luther King must have read this, huh? If you wish to enter into life, keep my commandments. If you will know if you will if you will know the truth, believe in me. If you will be perfect, sell all. If you will be my disciple, deny yourself. If you will possess the blessed life, despise this present moment. Uh, I don't know if I like that part, but. If you will be exalted in heaven, humble yourself on earth. If you wish to reign with me, carry the cross for, with me. For only the servants of the cross find the, lo the life of blessedness and of true light. Okay, that was nice. All right, I think this book was probably made for uh, priests um, or very, very old book. But anyway, there you go. So now we got a little. Snickers, you're going to have to either exercise with me or move, okay? <laughs> Let's bend forward. All right. How about some push ups or sit ups today? Let's go ahead. And up.
Good. I want your legs here, up two, and then down two. And up two, and then down two. And up, and down. And up, and down. And up, almost to the floor. And down, and up, and down. And up, and down. And up, and down. Good. Your legs to the side. We'll go up here a little bit. Three, five, six, seven, and eight, and eight more. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this way. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Bring your leg up to your knee here. And just hold it tight. Okay. Now I want you to straighten it out and hold it. Just straighten it. And you pull it just a little. Keep moving it. Let's move it around. They say you don't have to hold it too tight. Just kind of keep moving your muscles, and it, that's what's going to make it go further. And you kind of keep moving it. You don't just stop here, but actually keep moving. Okay. Another leg in. I'm pressing. Straighten it up. And move it around. Still here. Bring your arm to go up and down. Push your hips up at the same time. Get your arms and your rear rear, huh? Hold it in attitude. That's when you have your hand knee bent and your toe pointed. And just hold it. Two. 
straighten that leg out. Put your arm in front. Hold it. All right, good. Let's do a few plies. And up. Plie. Plie. Joints get lubricated today for the day. I felt so good after yesterday. I was like, wow. To do this every day and feel this good. Maybe it was, you know, doing our readings and I don't know. That felt really good though. I hope it made you feel better too. Keep jogging. We're just jogging through the Park again today. jumping jacks right now but it's bothering me so we can just jog a little bit let's do some squats down and up Let's do ten more. Break it up in five. One, two, three, four, five, and five more. And one, two, three, four, five. I want to do five more. One, just for good measure. One, two. Squeeze your buttons as you come up. Squeeze. Four. Five, that's good. All right. Want to grab your desk or whatever? We haven't done our little stretches here lately. Let's try to stretch. Stretch front. Hold it. And we'll go 
little side. Stretching. Point your toe. That's good. Go back behind us, grab your knee. You can straighten your leg out. Other foot. Here. And stretch it out. Good. Here. And stretch it. Look at all the calories we're burning. Yay. <laughs> I need to. I eat a lot of things I shouldn't like potato chips who doesn't love potato chips all right let's do these again you're gonna go plie this time in releve and in plie releve and in one two three one two three one two three one, two, three. 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 Good. Let's just lunge it side to side. Just hope my knee starts feeling better. Alright guys, I think I'll let you go. Have a great day. I'll be with you.